girls, I wonder if Zach and Zelda have found their dog Briarly yet. He's been lost all summer long playing hide and seek here in the park. I wonder, oh, that's not Zach and Zelda. And that wasn't Briarly either. That looked like a squirrel. Oh, it is a squirrel. Oh, and he's left a walnut. I, I wonder, oh, and he's back again. Oh, well, hi, little squirrel. Hello there. Oh, oh now we have a pine cone. What I'm supposed to do with these things. Hi, Mrs. Shirley. Oh, hi, Zelda. How are you today? Oh. Good to see you. You. What are you doing with all this stuff? Well, it's not really my stuff. Um, a squirrel brought it. A squirrel? Mm -hmm. Oh, I don't know very much about those animals. Oh, I don't know very much about squirrels. Well, you know what? We have lots of books here at the library, and they tell us about all kinds of things. And I brought some books today that have squirrels in them. Can I show them to you? Yes, please. I would love to hear. This first one is called Secrets of the Apple Tree. And it's a special book. It's brand new, too. It's a shine a light book. And when you check this book out and take it home, you can use your flashlight to shine behind this page and you'll see what's in the apple tree. Cool. And then you can turn the pages and see, too. Like there are the branches. Or maybe down by the roots you'll see some worms. Ooh, worms. Or maybe a lizard. Or rabbits. Or maybe some baby birds. Lots of things hiding in a tree, but where is the squirrel at? Where is he? <gasps> oh, that's not the squirrel, that's the woodpecker. Rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat, rat-a-tat. <gasps> Here's a hole in the tree. <gasps> sure enough, there's a squirrel all curled up asleep. So you could read that book, The Secrets of the Apple Tree, and you'd find a squirrel in there. And lots of other creatures, too. Oh, I like that book. Or maybe you'd like this book called The Very Best Bed. And Squirrel was out busy collecting seeds and nuts and things for the winter when he realized it was getting late and he had forgotten to find a place to sleep. Oh, no. So he checked in the cave, but oh, Bear was already there. And then he checked by the rocks, but Fox was already there. And he saw Bunny already asleep. And he found another little place. And there, look, there was Chipmunk sleeping. See him there? But there wasn't room for Squirrel, too. So he kept looking. He looked in the tree, and there were lots of raccoons already sleeping there. But then he found up, up high in the tree, there was an empty woodpecker's nest. So he quickly filled it with leaves and climbed right in and went to sleep. That's very smart. Yes, that was the very best bed. Aww. How about this book? It's called How Groundhogs Garden Grew. Ooh. And we find Groundhog in someone's garden munching all the vegetables. Oh. And Squirrel says, oh no, no, Groundhog, those are not your vegetables. You shouldn't be eating those. Sorry, says Groundhog, I didn't know. I don't know about gardens. So Squirrel offers to show him. He shows him how to find seeds from all the plants. And then in the spring, they plant the seeds. And they have to wait. And they wait. And they wait until, look at all the little sprouts. Oh my. And then at the end of summer, and the beginning of fall, look at all the vegetables in their garden. Oh, See the ball? Yes. And because everyone helped, Groundhog decides to have a feast. And he shares all the vegetables with all his friends. Oh, well, that was nice. Isn't that a nice story? How Groundhog's Garden Grew. Oh, I like those. Well, thank you for sharing those neat books with me. You're welcome. I wish it was that easy find Briarly as it is for that squirrel to find all these things. Oh, I know. Oh. Briarly's really been hiding well this summer. Yeah, and I better go see if Zach has found any more clues. Bye. Okay, bye, Zelda. Oh, my goodness. We just, oh, that squirrel is back. Hello, little squirrel. Oh, he's gone again. Wait. Oh, dear. What have you found this time, little squirrel? It's kind of all tangled up. Goodness sakes, let me untangle it.
it. Oh, it's even got a little knot in it. Here, let me fix that. All right, I wonder what this could be. Hey. Oh, hi, Zach. What are you doing with Briarly's leash? <gasps> this is Briarly's leash? Yeah, we use it sometimes when we bring him to the park. Oh, I thought you'd let Briarly just run all around at the park. Don't be silly, Mrs. Shirugi. There are leash laws, you know. Oh, goodness. We sometimes we do let him run around, but when we get to the playground, we put this leash on him so that he won't get hit by any of the swings. Oh, that's right. You have to be safe at the playground because the swing could bump right into you. I see why you use a leash. That's a good idea, Zach. Why, thank you. Wait a minute. <gasps> Maybe this leash is a clue. You're right, it could be. Briarly's left us other clues letting us know where he's been. That's right, maybe. Maybe he's at the playground. That sounds like a great idea. I'm going to go check. All right. Bye. Bye, Zach. Oh, my goodness. Maybe they'll find Briarly. He could be at the playground. Mrs. Oh. Jerome. Well, hi, Look Zach. what I found. What is this? Briarly, Briarly, so at the playground. You'll never believe who I got it from. Oh, I bet we can guess. A, a squirrel. squirrel. Oh, hey, how did you know? Mm, trust me, we know. There's been a squirrel leaving all kinds of strange things. Oh, my. Oh, then Riley was at the playground. What a crazy dog. Let's take these his things home. Well, here's his toy. What are we to hide next? I don't know, and there's the leash sack. You see you later. Okay, okay bye. let us know if you find him. Good luck. Bye-bye.